hey guys welcome to sq6 programming today we are going to see a program to reverse a user entered string using recursive method so basically we are going to reverse anything we will enter and we are going to use a recursive function for this purpose uh, a recursive function is a function which calls itself and this is the function void reverse char c c in dot get c we are using c in dot get c instead of c in as it takes characters one at a time and for this purpose we have used the library string dot h and if c is not equal to the new line character that means if we will press enter then the new line character is going to be executed we will go in the next line and if it doesn't happen if we will not press enter then the reverse function is going to be executed again that means we will call the function in the same function itself and after that c out c so let's see what will happen in this function so char c we have taken a character named c and c in dot get c suppose we want to reverse a word hat so first we will enter the character the first character h and if c is not equal to enter reverse so c is h so reverse is going to be executed again so first we will store h h is going to be stored in the stack memory so h is stored here in the stack now again char c c in dot get c this time we will enter a so it's if c is not enter reverse so again we will execute reverse and a is going to be stored in the stack memory so a is in the stack after above h and again reverse char c c in dot get c now we will enter t c is not equal to enter reverse now again t is stored in the stack memory so the stack contains t a h again reverse is going to be executed and this time we will press enter so if statement is not going to be executed as we have pressed the enter and now c out c so whatever is in the stack is going to be printed in a stack we will take the elements out from the stack from the top of the stack so at the top we have t so we will take t from the stack and print t then we will take out a and print a and finally we will take out h and print h here so, so we have reversed the word hat using recursion and this is how it will work now let's test the code hat th so we have reversed the word so we have reversed the word now hello hello is reverse so code is working fine now you can copy this code and try it out yourself till then thank you and goodbye